I found weight loss very similar to dog walking or being a shimon of the dog. You gotta be consistent of walking. If your schedule is walking in the morning, you gotta keep the schedule going. And your partner's having a busy day and you had to change the schedule, you gotta be able to switch it up. Your weight loss should be main goal. I believe dog walking is for dog. If you are not too busy with the schedule, I think you should let them sniff. <laughs> Shan wouldn't agree with that. Clean after your dog. Don't let the, your dog do the washroom business in someone's property. If you had some messed up, clean that up. If you ate too much of a treat or drink, maybe skip the carb. My dog is big. Big golden retriever, young, is very strong. I'm wearing this while I'm holding him near me. If he reacts to something, I can lower my weight, even though it hurts my, my lower back or hips or knees. I've done it or hurt my wrist. That's your responsibility. Your dog is your responsibility. Just like a weight loss should be your own responsibility. For that reason, I totally avoid people the holding the phone on their walk. Just like me, I am recording it. Their dog or their walk. If their dog, if they provoke my big dog, my strong young dog, <laughs> I am doing. So focusing on what you're doing. Avoid the people, ah, oh, life is short, or do whatever. Avoid those people before you go for a walk. You gotta prepare a little bit. Go pee. You are able to walk long walks. Have a put backs. Leash ready. Hold on. If you use, prong on, just like me. Let's not judge on this one. I'm trying to be the human of my dog as long as I can. I want to be in control. Let's not judge. It's not your shoes. Keep your feet on your shoes. Meal prep. Just like uh, preparing the walk, if you prepare a little bit, like uh, let's say, went to pee before walk, then you can have longer walk for your dog. <laughs> and maybe for your mental health. Now while you're walking, keep him within the, your parameter. I usually hold the leash right here, not too tight. Just like uh, you can keep going with about 85%, or 90% but not too tight not too legit get the tension and I avoid the people just stop the dog in the middle of the walk it's because they saw other dog is coming towards their direction I can tell their body language and all that their dog is reactive that's what you think and they try to avoid that and the same time building the tension mostly small dog has fear and they were barking and barking. Usually their leash is really long or sometimes too tight. Those dogs avoid. And the humans, avoiding the being too hungry so you don't go crazy. So you don't feel the tension at the party. Well, I should say hunger. There's a sign. He looks at me like this. I tried to notice this. It's about the same distance, about one and a half kilometers. And he turned his head and looked at me. Time to go home or turn around, right? And I usually turn around. Mostly it's the same distance. Just like it's a time to eat or drink. Follow that sign, your hunger gave it to you. And some days you just don't like the hot. When it's wet, you just wanna go right after washroom. Or sometimes he wants to just lie down. Sometimes hunger just comes in. It's not time to eat or there is some temptation. Your hunger wants you to eat. Notice those things. Especially beginning of the weight loss. Tell yourself. I'm gonna eat it again in within two to three hours. And at the end of the walk, you let him sniff all of the grass. You had it enough. You wanna go home? Tell them enough. Your craving keeps saying it. I want more on the repeat day, right? You know it's the end of the day. Just tell it, <laughs> enough. I'm gonna go to bed. <laughs> because my dog is golden retriever. And he drink has enough water. Reputation, right? Happy, easier for people to approach. This guy in particular said, ooh, is that the golden or lab? It's a golden retriever. They are friendly, but they go crazy sometimes. They like a cuckoo sometimes. 
。Oh, you have a golden at home? No. Oh, what kind of dog do you have? I don't have one. I just learned it from Facebook. You get this a lot on the way loss too. They never tried portion control. They never tried whatever you are on. They learn something. Give you opinions of that's a chocolate omelet. Ew! Why you drink so much? You may die. Have you done it? No. I watch it from TikTok. Okay. That's not exactly what that person is experienced, was experienced, or have experienced. They don't know what they're talking about. They are just bluffing. Those people give you good intention advice. It's not good intention. Think about your head. When you talk to other people, life is short. This is you. You are talking to other people on a loss. Try to keep body healthy. Try to run to put the movement in your life. Try to eat more vegetables. Fiber is not the answer. You eat that much of a protein, your kidney will be really not well function. Everything in moderation. All those overused English sentence. When you say that those to other people, do you actually concern about their health? Or you are judging or you are jealous. You cannot handle on your health, but that person decided to. What is your intention? Think about yourself and don't give those people's opinion too much of when you say those things to other people, it's not good intention. They're just jealous. They want you to fail, just like you thought about it. That's another reason we should be focusing on our shoes. When you are focusing on other shoes, I found myself. I have a lot of shit to be done. I don't have any position to talk about other people's business. Don't give too much of credit for even your friends, even your parents. We get hurt by judgmental parents a lot. This is a real true story. My cousin, she wanted to lose weight. She has all kinds of problems. She has eczema, skin is sensitive, rashes in the summer, losing the bone mass, gaining weight, especially belly, butt, and underarms. And I suggested this when I was visiting Korea. No, I cannot do that. Why not? People are gonna say, you don't need to lose weight, especially my mom, my, my aunt. She's a bit judgmental, <laughs> a lot. She's a very proper lady. She knows she's a proper lady. So she judged a lot. Ironically, friends and family, our parents judged a lot. You don't need to tell them what you're on. They wanna see me, I'm not eating the enough rice. Then tell them, this is doctor's order. Have an excuse. Don't give too much credit on the people who are very judgmental. Very, they are not hard on themselves actually. They don't do their work, they want to judge you. That's another reason for you to be not judgmental, focusing on your shoes.